Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're continuing on my uh, little occasional series of pens in my collection uh, with five new pens today. Some you probably will know and some you might not. Uh, so I'll quickly show you the pens here and then uh, we'll change the camera and I'll show you the pens and how they write. The first pen is the Moonman 80, which is a fairly recent pen. Uh, it's a, a, um, an, a copy, if you will, of a well-known pen brand. Uh, has a lot going for it, and uh, it's an interesting pen, not without its faults. Next we have the Jinhao X750, a very affordable pen that I'm very, uh, very keen about. And here in the purple finish, uh, and yeah, like, insane value. Next is the Diplomat Traveller. Now this is one of the smaller and more affordable uh, offerings from the German manufacturer and a really very, very good pen. Then we have the Twisby Vac Mini, which is the smaller cousin, of course, of the Vac 700 or Vac 700R, uh, and one of my favorite pens for traveling. And then lastly, one of my absolute favorite pens of all time, we have the Pilot Custom 74. So I will show you these pens in uh, a little bit more detail when I turn the camera around and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Well, here we are. Uh, I've got a little Rodeo uh, dot pad here. Please excuse the ink on my fingers, part of the job, uh, as you can imagine. Let's start with the Moon Man 80. Now, clearly this is a, a copy of a pen, a well-known pen that might happen to have a number 45. Uh, in the in the title. Uh, this is an interesting pen. It's a really nice little size pen, um, cartridge converter and uh, semi-hooded nib as you can see there. Um, you know, fairly uh, iconic design actually for the original uh, and for a company that has had pens like the uh, M2 and the Wonkai Mini, which are relatively original looking pens, it's interesting to get an offering like this from the company. When this pen writes, it's beautiful, but I've had trouble with this particular one um, uh, and having to sort of realign the nib and the feed and a couple other bits and pieces just to get it to write uh, almost consistently. It comes in a wide range of colours and finishes and all that sort of stuff, uh, so it's a really interesting model from the company, uh, but not quite an original one, obviously. So I have this inked with Pilot Aro Shizuku Kirisame, uh, and yeah, let's just see how it writes. I think this is labelled as a fine. So it's not the wettest pen around, like obviously this ink isn't a highly saturated ink, uh, but you know, it's sort of, it's it's okay in this pen, it, um, it's just not sort of a consistent writer unfortunately, uh, and not the smoothest nib either, certainly not as nice as the nibs on the, um, the M2 I think is a really lovely pen and has a fabulous, very fine nib on it. Uh, so yeah, just an interesting offering from Moon Man. Next we have the Jinhao X750, heavy metal pen uh, with a plastic section there. They come with, you know, these Jinhao number six nibs aren't too terrible. Uh, when they're when they're smooth, they're very very good. Uh, when they and they write nice and wet, as you'll see with this one. Um, not a fan of the plastic liners on these Jinhao pens. I've had a couple crack, uh, but you know, there are these are a sturdy, well constructed pen, and certainly worth the $3.60 Australian or whatever it costs, including postage to get them, which seems ludicrous. Once again, cartridge converter. Um, uh, this one's running quite low now. I've been writing with it for almost a week. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely, lovely pen in the hand. I pr do personally prefer the X450, but this is certainly not a bad option. This, uh, this is inked with Noodler's Heart of Darkness. medium nib. As you can see, this is a wet pen. It really it just lays down 
a lovely, lovely line of ink. Um, quite broad for a medium, certainly a lot broader than uh, a lot of the uh, other sort of Asian uh, nibs. So yeah, I, I really love this pen. It's not the smoothest of the Jinhao nibs I've ever had, um, but I think it's actually a really, really lovely pen to write with. And I do love this purple finish. I think it looks great. I'm a big fan of purple and the purple silver with the black accents, I think is really very, very cool. Next, we have the Diplomat Traveller, which, uh, as I said to you, is a smaller, more affordable option from Diplomat, a steel nib. Um, it is a very sort of small pen, hence the name Traveller. It's almost like a pocket pen. But it's got a really nice uh, little medium nib on it, uh, and I actually quite like the design of the pen. It's perhaps a little narrow for my uh, taste on the section, but you're not going to be doing long uh, sessions of writing with this pen. It is much more for sort of note-taking and uh, jotting ideas. It has one of the most secure clicks on it that I've heard from any pen. Um, it is a cartridge converter pen. Um, at the moment, I have a cartridge in it. Once again, running low. I've been using it for a few days. Um, this is just a WH Smith black cartridge, so just a generic black ink cartridge. Uh, you can put a converter in it, um, but for convenience sake um, I've been using cartridges in this for a little while. This is a medium. And I've just got a WH Smith black uh, cartridge in there. Now this lays down a surprising amount of ink. Um, it is quite a lovely wet writer. Uh, much wetter than I expected uh, when I got it looking at the size of the nib and you know it, it lays down a, a sort of a, a fairly thin medium line when you especially if you compare it there to the Jin Hao. Um, it's almost on par with the fine from Moon Man. But this is much smoother than both of those. Um, it's a really very, very pleasant writing experience uh, and one that uh, I will continue to use for a long time, particularly, funnily enough, uh, for traveling. Next, we come to the Twisby VAC Mini. Now, the VAC Mini, as I said, is a smaller version of the VAC 700R, which will be in a future video. Um, this one has just come back uh, on a from a, a work trip with me um, it's got a bit of ink in the cap there but that's okay um, this is a it, it's just a little bit too small to use uh, unposted but it does screw to post which um, when you don't get that cross threading uh, which gives you a nice sort of size pen uh, the section is on the narrower side in comparison to say the um, VAC 700 but uh, it's a lovely number five Yovo nib uh, it has a great ink capacity and it's a really sort of sturdy pen. I'm really, really impressed with these. And this is inked with Colorverse Gravity Wave. This is once again a medium. You see a lot of mediums pop up in my uh, pen collection videos. Now this once again is a considerably wet pen. Like these, these Colorverse inks are wet inks and they're highly, highly saturated. Uh, and when you put it in a pen uh, like this, you just get fantastic results. Um, I love these Twisby pens. I love Twisby in general. Uh, in fact, the 700R is my least favorite of my Twisby pens. Uh, so the Mini is actually a much nicer pen uh, to write with and has fantastic flow, it keeps up well, uh, as a good ink capacity and all of that. The VAC system is a little bit harder to clean, but I don't mind so much. Uh, but yeah, these nibs, the way the pen fits in the hand, gets a big tick uh, from me. Now the last pen we're talking about today is one of my absolute favourite pens. This is the Custom uh, Pilot Custom 74. Uh, so again, a little bit of ink in the cap there. Um, I have this inked with uh, Krishna Sea and Storm, and uh, I really do love this pen. I think it's one of the nicest nibs I own. Uh, it's a gold nib and uh, plated in chrome, but uh, it 
a great size pen. Um, it's got a really good size section, posts, screws to cap. It's well balanced. Uh, it's got a really lovely traditional look about it. Um, it's just a really lovely pen. And there's a reason why this pen is uh, adored by one particular uh, retailer uh, in the United States. It is just a fabulous writer. Now, as a lefty, it's often a complaint about this uh, pen because it does have a slightly soft nib, uh, but I've never had any issue with this, as a, and I think it actually feels great to write with this pen. It's just a, a really wonderful, um, you know, gorgeous, smooth, wet nib. So here we have... This is a medium with Krishna, oh, Krishna, sea and storm. Once again, fabulous flow on this pen, lovely and wet, just really a gorgeous, gorgeous pen to write with. Um, we'll skip that funnily enough. Um, now, as I said, this pen, this nib is can be a touch springy. Uh, I'll just give you, show you an example without sort of pushing it too hard, but without any pressure, and then with some pressure, you can get, you know, just a little bit of spring out of the nib. I would not, do not say this is a flex nib or even a soft nib, it just has a little bit of spring, it lets down a little bit more ink, and just gives a little bit more line on the page. But with a nib like this, it's just such a joy to write with, uh, and absolutely one of my favorite pens. Last year this made my top pens of 2000, 2017 uh, and if I had to do a top five pens overall I think you'd be hard pressed not to have this pen uh, in that list. Um, it's just absolutely a wonderful pen. So just to recap uh, we had the Moon Man 80, the Jinhao X750, the Diplomat Traveler, the Twisby VAC Mini, and the Pilot Custom 74. Those are the latest five pens in my collection, this being the Volume 2, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you found it useful or interesting, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please, pl please feel free to drop me a message at any of the platforms listed below. Uh, if you've got any questions or products you think I should be looking at, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.